Chess friends, how are you? Yesterday Alpha Zero performed his super brilliance against me, he was fortunate that he has white pieces to play the first move and get a opportunity to attack me first. This is the second game of Alpha Zero and me, I have white pieces against him and let's see who will defeat whom, and this is your today's puzzle, this is 70 to 80 IQ chess puzzle, solve it and comment me, here I started with E4, Alpha responded with C5, here you have D6, E6 or you can push queenside pawns, G6 which is called Dragon Sicilian to shot is fire on this diagonal, natural moves are queen here and knight C6, we have knight F3, E6 by him because he is my old subscriber. He always loved to play standard developing moves, knight here A6 this move is a thing that he want to revolt on queenside, queen will lead these pawns and knight here and bishop, b7 to seize the diagonal so we have d4, takes takes and b5, I could play pawn to g3 to develop and use the bishop on this diagonal but bishop to d3 by my following book queen goes to b6 knight b3, now the bishop is coming to waste black's one move, so queen c7 and castle d6 bishop here knight here a4 takes and rook takes. Rook is coming to c4 to rule over the c file and my further plan is to play queen here to target the pawn with every pieces, I will punish my opponent to give me the opportunity to open the a file, so knight c6, queen on e2, targeting this pawn but alpha 0 doesn't fear it and played bishop here, but you shouldn't take the pawn, let me explain you why, after takes, takes rook takes, queen will take the rook on a6. Therefore black will simply play castle and white will not gain any advantages on their black will bring his rook to enjoy the open file, being win one pawn doesn't mean you have advantages, chess needs combination first so I played rook to a1, castle bishop e3 h6 now I take the pawn on a6 with my bishop, he take the bishop on a6, rook takes and taking the rook isn't good, so rook here to live him few more time, h3. There is no big attacking tactics I just want to develop my knight with the supporting of the queen to target it then rook here, bishop joins to support the knight, ok alpha played rook e8, rook backs bishop backs and here queen here here rook d8 bishop g3, ok, in this position, my next move is to play rook here to target it then move up the king, rook here, bishop h4 to target the knight, after takes the king position will be bad, I mean unstable pawns and open g file will bring twister for the king. So bishop e7 rook a1 here bishop g3 bishop backs and knight move backs away, this knight move plan is to protect the pawn and bring back the other knight to prepare a long term strategical attack, I want to create some possible attacks on the center, rook c8 by alpha bishop here, targeting to the knight if you do nothing then you have to take the knight with the pawn then knight backs here, knight e3 will occupy the center squares heavily. You will lose control over the center squares, so alpha 0 played g4, because he is a stockfish subscriber, and chess friends if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel then you can like and subscribe to my channel to get more episodes, his plan is to play bishop here then strike the center with d5, knight to b4 is a critical choice to target the pawn with two pieces, so, in this position, I moved back my bishop, d4 and we have takes takes, I played h4, you shouldn't take the pawn. There is 20 moves strategy, let me show you the variation, if you take it, then bishop takes, the g file gets open so after rook here, rook to a6, queen backs knight here bishop here knight goes to e4, to forking the queen and rooks, so after queen d7 there is knight c5, to target the queen, queen slides, then c3, can you calculate the position that who is better, you may see the analysis bar, if you play f5 to kicking out the knight, bishop backs to target the queen, queen slides. Then knight here to forking these rooks if you play f4 to target the bishop because after knight takes, hoping to win the knight, rook for two pieces so after knight takes rook pawn takes bishop, there is queen takes check, takes, and takes, rook takes knight pawn check king takes pawn and that's it, these pawns are enough to win the game, you may think that white have two pawns so he have plus two advantages, no fool, it's not plus two, it's plus eight advantages for white because he also gain a rook for a knight. Human are dumb since first human born on this planet, so, in this position we have knight back to e7, rook to a6, queen here I am just pre-moving some moves to gain some extra time, queen here rook to a7, and after some moves later, we have pawn takes g5, you have to take the pawn, 
rook on a6, queen here and again the same trouble with the rooks and the queen, knight to e3, alpha takes the knight, I couldn't make a single trick in the entire game, because he was preventing me from doing so. His new version is truly amazing, anyway stockfish is king, no matter how strong the elephant, no matter how fast the cheetah, no matter how big is the giraffe, the lion is always the king of jungle, you shouldn't take take it with your queen because of queen takes pawn takes, the queen side position will lose hope so I take it with my pawn, rook to d5, rook here here, and queen here, bishop to f2, threatening to play e4 to target the queen and the rook at the same time so rook here because he says, I don't afraid of your trick, do your best because the lion is maybe the king of the jungle but a wolf never performs in the circus, are you insulting me alpha 0, e4, rook check to d1, king ups, then queen b8 check, best move is to block the check with the bishop, and the position will be equal, if you play any other move to wish, you can survive and win the game, for example king here then rook check will come king here, queen f4 check, and it will be mate, game will be over so back to the position. Here we have, rook back to a1 to protect it, rook d1 check anyway after takes takes, alpha sacrificed his pawn as a tempo, queen takes and takes, ok knight d4, I still have a hope to take revenge with my grandsons, queen a8, b4 queen here b5 e5 knight backs, takes takes, queen here, queen here to give a mating threat, so bishop here to create breathing room, queen check king here, vax queen here I pushed the pawn before exchanging the queen's takes and takes here, knight here to go there so bishop f6, I played e4. Bishop here knight here here slides ups, and after some more moves later, we have, knight to b3, takes takes, ok this position is an absolute draw, bishop and knight can't do anything, alpha perform nicely to defend the game as black, after some moves later, we do see here bishop and the knight dance, very amazing, e5 finally, sacrificing the bishop on a3, alpha accept the sacrifice with the knight, and this position is draw, if you play king here, hoping to create some gameplay then knight here e6 and this is coming, so you have to take the pawn, after takes, black king will go to the g8 square and he will stay on there, he have the knight to run everywhere, as he want, so wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.